Yo, what is going on guys, Digirex here, and today I'm coming at you with a brand new video, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about whether the treasure maps in Destiny 2 are worth picking up or not. So if you guys don't know, there are these things called treasure maps that you can obtain from Cade, and these treasure maps will actually allow you to pick up these hidden chests around patrol maps, and the patrol map switches every week. In the first week of Destiny, it was the EEZ. This week it has changed to Nessus. Next week it, it'll either be Io. Or Titan and then it'll finish off with the fourth planet and there are these special caches that you can only get and you can only see on the map by purchasing these uh, special treasure maps from Cade and as soon as you purchase them and you go onto the map they will all pop up for you there's five a week and like I said it will rotate planets and these treasure maps can contain emblems they can t contain random items that you can trade back to Cade for glimmer and you do buy these treasure maps for Glimmer, but these random items that you sell back to Cade for Glimmer can make up for most of that. So you won't really be spending as much as you think you are, because at the end you'll return some items to Cade and you'll get some Glimmer back for that. But these items can contain gear that can help you level up, and this is a really good way to level up, especially if you are a very low level. These can contain exotic ingrams, exotic gear, or... Yep, the exotic ingrams, exotic gear, legendary ingrams, legendary gear, and they also can contain a number of faction weapons, which at this point in the game there are no factions, so this is the only way you can get faction weapons, which is super awesome. Uh, so that's the only way you can get faction weapons as of right now. This is not too early in Destiny 2, so if you're watching this any later than the fa when the factions have come out, then you it won't really matter anymore that you can get faction weapons from these but right now that is a really rare thing so that's pretty awesome you can you get glimmer you can get blue gear like I said to level up you can get exclusive emblems you can get a bunch of different and cool items guns like I said exotics a bunch of different stuff so I definitely recommend picking these up and there are guides to show you where they are on each of the planets which is extremely useful it'll only take 15 minutes probably to obtain all the all the stashes just looking at your map on your like directory or through your ghost but if you look up a guide this will probably only take you around five to ten minutes honestly especially with the fast travel feature it is super easy to get these and it is a good way to level up it's a lot of fun just exploring the maps also all these caches are in really cool spots and they are unique looking chests and you can get some pretty good stuff from them. I've personally gotten a few legendaries to drop. I've gotten two pretty cool emblems, and I've leveled up a bunch. I've also gotten an exotic from one. That was last week, so unfortunately I don't have that footage. But you can get a lot of cool stuff. You explore the map. It's pretty easy. It's kind of kind of stress relieving, actually, just going around and opening these chests with oh, super right, cool, yeah. dope stuff in them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and this is my take on treasure caches. I definitely think the treasure maps are worth picking up. You can get a lot of good gear from them, and it doesn't ver cost very much to do it. So, please subscribe for more Destiny 2 Overwatch and For Honor content. As you see here, I'm selling some of the stuff back to Cade for Glimmer, so I'm making Glimmer back. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Didrex. Peace. Like some strikes? That seemed Look, to be um, two strikes. No refunds, okay? And I'm open to mind, so we all need some time just to settle down. Won't you come around? Cause I never can leave it alone. Talking about somebody rolling, boulevard down and making it count for efforts I can't explain. Balling and feeling we drown and never been humbled by playing the fighter.